Okay, here's where the rubber really meets the road, and this is where this invention really, really makes all the difference in the world. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna release the three main compression straps, and we've got two trim straps on the front, excuse me, on the top and on the bottom. And that's gonna really, that assists in holding the corners together when you start in, uh, start hauling the, the pack around on your back. So we'll go ahead and unzip some of these or unclip some of these and you'll, uh, you'll see what's inside this, this wonderful bag. So like I say, on the bottom, we've got a trim adjustment. It's an adjustable strap that hooks on the back and we'll go over all the buckles and the configurations here in a little bit and you'll have a, a better idea. Uh, the bag can be a little bit overwhelming at, at when you first get it and start working with it but after you really start getting familiar with the bag you get your gear into it a couple times and see how everything fits it'll go in quicker than a normal duffel bag. We'll go ahead and release the the top compression or the top adjustable trim strap. Now here we go. So imagine, I'm about ready to release the three main compression straps. Imagine you've pulled inspection, you've popped three buckles off the spider pack so it's laying off, you've got two buckles off the turtle bag and it's laying forward. You pop the three compression straps, that simply, and your entire travel bag rolls right out. This is a beautiful thing. I don't know how many times I've been in the airport inspection and it's just like this. You've got your hockey bag or your dive bag or your suitcase, whatever you're taking carry on. And Mr. TSA guy, just to see your first stage, wants to see everything. So it's a bit of a mess. So what we've got, we've got in the first compartment, we have our mesh zippered compartment that's also breathable. It's made out of mesh. We've got in the middle, we've got our BCD, which is also a compression uh, area here. We've got several uh, wings that we call them uh, that compress down and, and really get the, the BC in a manageable shape. And we have a, a panel here where we can secure in our fin caddy, which we'll go over here in just a few minutes. So just uh, to follow along the theme of showing you what's in the bag system, I'll go ahead and show you what we've got in here. Okay, we've got your typical snorkel. We've got a little miscellaneous bag here for our boots. Three mil tropical. Most of this gear, the, the wetsuit is a, a tropical setup, but you can get up to a seven mil uh, wetsuit in here, long suit, pretty easy. There's quite a bit of extra room in here. So we've got a second boot. We've got a couple pairs or a couple gloves, a pair of gloves. And we've got a pinnacle long three mil wetsuit full wetsuit this is uh, for a six foot five guy it's not uh, a little wetsuit that we're just trying to jam in here so you can get a lot of stuff in here now say you're wanting to just dive in shorts or whatever feel free to fill this up with anything you want to that's the beauty of this bag you can use it in any configuration that you want to and then we'll set our our uh, boot and glove bag aside as well now the BCD area there's four straps in this area. We've got a main two inch strap that holds the BCD in generally just to keep it from sliding back and forth. Now where this section really takes off and where you'll, you're really gonna love this is there's three compression straps that hold these wings forward or, or excuse me, together to where the BCD stays in place and stays compressed. And compression being the name of the game here, that's where we need to be. So we'll open that up. So we've got three straps that are adjustable here on the, in the middle, and then the one two inch where the, the wings come forward holds this thing in there just beautifully. As you can see, again, we're not putting in children's gear here. This is good, you know, big stuff that you know, normal people can wear. This is my uh, Zegel Ranger uh, XLBC with uh, double X cummerbund. So uh, it's a substantial BCD, and it, as you saw, it fit right in here beautifully. We'll lay that aside. Now, fin caddy. This is a, a great, great thing that uh, you will use more than just in the travel bag system. This is something that you're gonna use once you reach your destination as well. So the way the fin caddy is set up is there's a two inch buckle that holds everything in. Now, when we use the fin caddy, we basically can use it a couple different ways. We can use it just for, for putting your stuff in here or when you reach your destination and you need to deploy quickly, and our public safety people absolutely love this for quick deployment, is you grab it by the handle, the whole thing comes out in one unit. 
it is just absolutely it's the slickest thing, <laughs> slickest thing going for fin and, and loose gear management. Now, what you've got on the front of the fin caddy here is you've got side clip buckles. So we'll undo the buckle, pull it back through the heel straps, as you can see here, and the fins come right out. They just slide right through and you're good to go. Nothing to it, very small. The fin caddy is so small that when you're not using it, when you deploy onto the boat, you can easily put this inside a mask case, keep it in your little area, put it in if you have a little lunch bag or a, a lunch box that you're taking on, say you're on a boat dive, something like that, very easily stowed. Now, when you break everything down and you're making the, the trip back to the dive boat, we have a mesh bag that water can pass through and things will dry in. It's got a side clip buckle with a little bit of elastic here to keep everything together. Flap opens up and you can put all kinds of stuff in here. Anything you can fit into here, we suggest you take. It just helps you keep all your little stuff together without having to take a big dive bag onto the boat with you. Or it's great, a lot of our rental operators love to keep their uh, rental systems organized with the fin caddy. They can take all their fins of like sizes and, and uh, mask fins, snorkel systems, number them, and it kind of gets rid of the, all of the PVC pipe and milk crates that a lot of fellows use and a lot of people use to, to keep their rental gear together. So it's a pretty basic system, comes with a handle and a shoulder strap, clips onto the top here with the D-ring, very simple, very easy to use, very lightweight. That's a key as well. For those of you that don't use open-heeled fins, use closed-heel fins, we put in an elastic stirrup here that will wrap on both sides of the fin, or excuse me, the heel, and it will corral your fins just great. For those of you that are gonna use longer fins, we have a double adjustment. It may be difficult to see here, but on the back of the fin caddy, we have uh, an adjustment as well with an additional six inches of adjustment. So these fins, just to give you an idea, they're Atomic's uh, split fins, obviously, and they're a, a large fin. So they're, they're not the longest fins, but they're not the shortest fins either. I think uh, most people's fins will work in here just fine. Okay, back to the fin caddy. I want to show you guys the, how the shoulder strap works. The shoulder strap comes with the fin caddy, and it's a great way to go hands-free with it. So you drop your handle, put it back in your turtle bag or there's somewhere in your your travel bag go ahead and clip it on it's a pivot a pivot uh, dog clip here that clips right onto the d-ring and this allows you tremendous freedom with your with your fin caddy it's an adjustable strap it's very lightweight you can go over the shoulder and you can go hands-free to help somebody else with a bcd or a, a tank setup uh, whatever you need to do it's fully adjustable from people like myself you know over six foot you know all the way down to to five four five five pretty easy um, you can carry it over one shoulder um, you can carry it messenger style this way and it makes it a lot easier if you're in the surf and you're going to go out and you're trying to get into a little boat and you've got all kinds of stuff and and another thing every time i go uh, diving and I hurt my back it's because I'm carrying my BC with my tank and my my integrated weights and everything else and and I drop a fin and I go to pick it up and just twist my back so this is a real godsend for that and it, it just works great and like I say there's not much to it so when you're not using it it just stows in a mask case very easily and uh, if nothing else you can just use this to keep your gear uh, organized and situated um, or if you're just going to go snorkeling or, or skin diving, something where you don't need uh, the rest of the complement of the travel bag, you can just go with the fin caddy. Okay, one more thing I want to show you about the fin caddy here is that when you're on location, you're coming back off the dive boat or, or whatever the situation might be, a great thing is to be able to walk up with your fin caddy, take the whole thing, and dunk it straight into the freshwater tank. I don't know how many times I've been there struggling for whose black fin that is in, down in the freshwater tank and everybody's digging around with their wetsuits floating and everything else. This is just great. If, if nothing else, it just keeps your gear out of other people's bags. <laughs> so, like I was saying earlier, you can open this up, you can put your mask, you can put everything in here. You can put your, your gloves, all kinds of little stuff, flashlights, stuff that you want to rinse out and keep together and keep corralled. Okay, now that we've gone over all the bits and pieces, I'm going to give you an idea of how easily this is wound up and how small this really is. The travel bag system basically winds up to next to nothing. And this is the beauty of the bag. This is how we're able to get all of this gear on our back through the checkout line 
onto the plane, which is where you want to be. Separating from my dive gear is probably one of the worst things that can ever happen to me. You're diving cenotes in Cancun and your gear ends up in Detroit. Uh, not for me. <laughs> I'm going to keep it with me. So just to give you an idea, this is about five pounds of buckles and material. The entire system rolls up and fits inside the turtle bag.